Hey everybody, so I decided to make a MacBook review video for um, Mac OS Sierra because everyone seemed to enjoy the last one so much, so I decided to do just a couple, uh, you know, like tips, not really tips and tricks, but just like some of the new features. So let's go ahead and get started. So the biggest update to Mac OS Sierra was adding Siri to the Mac, and now Siri can pretty much do everything that she could on your phone, lover or hater, she's here on your Mac now. So you can ask uh, Siri things like, locate my photos from July. And there they are. Or you can say things like, text mom hello. Ready to send it? Yeah, we're not going to do that, though. Okay, let me know if there's any... Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know. Or you can ask things like, if you didn't... If you wanted to know how much storage you had and you didn't know where to find it, how much free storage do I have on my Mac? You have 13.25 gigabyte storage available. Which is not that good. So, which leads me into my next thing, actually, which helps out a lot of people. So we can go into here. So, overview, display of storage. So, if you were to go to your storage, and if you need more, like I do, because I'm almost out, and I probably have a ridiculous amount of videos on here. Uh, maybe not. Docu eh, it's probably under documents, 43 gigs. So, you can go over to manage, and we can optimize the storage right here, which basically takes things like, it says like your iTunes movies and TV shows you've already watched, and it throws them back in the cloud, which actually might help me. So, we're going to try and see what this does. Automatically remove watched iTunes movies and TV shows. Download only recent attachments in your mail. That works. Let's see what it does. So we had 13, 12.9 completed. All right, did it do anything? How much storage do I have? You have 13.27 okay. gigabyte storage available. All right, thank you. I feel like it did nothing. I feel like I did nothing. And maybe I just didn't really have that much to get rid of. Um, store all files in iCloud and save space. I don't probably, I probably have no, I probably have no storage in my iCloud. I bet you a million dollars. Oh, it did. Yeah, so reduce clutter, sort through documents and others stored on this Mac and deletes with no longer needed. Let's see what pops up. Here's some larger stuff, some movies and stuff that I don't need, it thinks I don't need, but I probably haven't watched them yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep that. I'll look through that later. But you can look through, like you can delete iOS files, stuff in your mail that you might not need. There's a whole bunch of ways to help you optimize your storage because if you're like me, I only got the 120 gig model, which isn't that much. So, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of help. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Um, now... Sierra has um, Apple Pay built in, which I guess is kind of helpful for when you're buying things online and you might not have your credit card nearby. So open apple.com, just because I'm sure Apple has it on their website. So let's go pretend to go buy an expensive Mac. Why not? Let's go to the Mac Pro, just because it's fun to do this kind of stuff. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Or as I Justine calls her, the trash can Mac or the water heater. And we'll just grab this one, yada yada yada, we'll select it, add to your bag, I wish I was this rich. And you could come down here and you could check out with Apple Pay for $4,857.84. So that's cool. So another thing that I can't really show you, mainly because I'm recording the screen and I don't have my Apple Watch set up, but if you have a password on your Mac, like most of you should, um, if you are wearing your Apple Watch, when you open up your computer with OS Sierra, it'll actually unlock your computer for you when you have your watch, like as long as you have your watch on and it's on your wrist still, when you go on your computer, it'll unlock for you, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to take time to enter your password. Just don't be near your computer if you don't want somebody in it because then it would unlock for them. Um, in messages, they kind of have the updates now like how they did on 
on iOS, which I mean it's not as fancy, but like the emojis are larger now, which is always fun because everyone loves emojis and you can see how detailed they are. I I still don't know what that is. Like, what is that? If someone could tell me what this is, that'd be great. Uh, Mom's asking what I want for my birthday because my birthday is exactly a month from today, actually. January 3rd. My bath. I'm going to be 26 years old in one month. So that's pretty much it. I mean, what else am I missing? Let's see. Let's have Apple help us. What am I missing? Probably something. If you guys ever need to come out and find some more, Apple has obviously on their website, if you go under Mac, you go under Mac OS Sierra, you can get an overview of like what they have in the new operating system. Come on, load. We already talked about that. And the yeah, that doesn't really work. The memories I would open, but I don't know what's in my photo, so quite honestly, I don't really want to do that. Not even gonna lie. Um oh Apple Music, duh. So Apple Mu under iTunes you have your Apple if you have Apple Music, it works now in iTunes. It it works a little bit but I mean they had it before, but it works a little bit nicer. It's um recently played. I just opened this up real quick. Welcome 2017. I'm going to listen to this later. That seems pretty cool. And you can, you know, browse like you could on Apple Music. Before it was a little bit weirder on the computer, but now it works a lot better, which, thank goodness, because I like to listen to my music pretty much everywhere I go. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's kind of a lame video, but in my opinion, they didn't really add that much to Sierra. I feel like it wasn't that big of an update. There's probably more little stuff like under the hood that I might be missing, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of macOS Sierra. The main the main thing that they did was with Siri, and you can ask all sorts of things like, you know, just like you could before, who is George Washington? Okay, I found this. Yeah, I would hope you know who George Washington was. If not, get into a history class. I don't know. But yeah, the main the main thing with Sierra was definitely Apple Pay and uh, Siri. And you can actually change Siri's things just like you can on uh, your iPhone. You can go into settings, find Siri, you can change it. I like British Mail Siri. I think it's funnier. I don't know why. I think the original one's kind of boring. But there's all sorts of Siri voices. Actually, there's different ones now. There's actually more than there are on your iPhone. So you have American, Australian, British, Irish, and South African. So choose whatever your little heart desires. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.